<laughs> Damn it. You ain't taking that vibrator out. There's always audio issues, darling. But that, that now everything's off. Including the vibrator. Yes. What is it that she wants? What is it that she needs? Is another baby. Kill another baby. No. <laughs> I'm doing Maya, honey. Not uh, uh not Ace of Base. Oh. <laughs> Although she wants to kill another baby. <laughs> kill it. But a girl who's like had so many abortions. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Been no there. Couple. So Been. I find out this week that my sister is uh, I just want you to know that we're recording as of like oh, 10 damn. seconds we, ago. No, we, we, can't, we can't use that. So you know what? So we're we going to bleep in something else. We're going to say, you just found out your sister is a man. <laughs> Maury, that's a man. Maury, that's a man. And then we got into a big read. And she is not the father. And she is not the father. She, she's not the father of the house, and she's not a father. Can I ask you something about your sister, though? Yes. What is it that she wants? Is it another, another baby? baby? No, <laughs> I'm doing oh, Maya. Oh <laughs> <laughs> not Ace of Base, Maya. Maya. Oh. But I do love that me and Boo both have uh, stuffed um, um, cabbages, in the, stuffed yeah. cabbages and yeah. stuffed animals in the backyard. I mean, in, in the, the backyard. In the, in the backyard. <laughs> you all that she wants all is to kill that baby in the backyard. <laughs> um, um, in the background. Well, Miss Boobie's had that old ass Yoda laying there for forever. That's got to be the episode one Yoda, right? Well, honey, Yoda yeah. is 700 years old. Nine. Isn't he? 900. Well, but you know how, like, in episode one, he was supposed to be like. Or two. No, episode one, he was supposed to be like 19 years younger. And oh, they right. used that horrible CGI puppet, whatever the fuck it was, and it looked horrible. Wait, wait, wait. in which one? In Episode one. Phantom Menace. Or in Phantom Menace. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. They, they, he, they gave him like a, it's almost like they went over him with Facetune. Right. Well, originally, they, the original they Phantom Menace, him. he was a puppet. And the puppet, I thought, was more effective. Yeah. I thought the puppet was more effective. I would then love to see. Then they put him in the CGI. Okay. I would love to see a little bit of Yoda, maybe in the uh, Obi Wan show. Yeah. But I have a question about Obi Wan now. Obi Wan's being played by. You and McGregor. Okay. What is it that she wants? Is another baby? <laughs> no. <laughs> is the child? Is to kill the child? Is the Yoda baby? Is the Yoda okay. baby? So. I listened to, you know, Corey Craig, the DJ, and he um, yes. has this podcast called Choreography, which is quite dope. Oh. And uh, he did a mix. a cute name. Yes. And he's quite over. And he did a mix of Maya, Case of the X, with my girl Peggy Goo, Starry Night. You told me about that the other day. And it's, it's really quite choice. So I've been, I've been very into that. Lovely. Yes. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now, before we get down to business and announce who we are and what this is, let's talk about what we're wearing. Booby, you look happy, joyous, and free. What is that? Yes. It's from the Florida Roundup. It's a sober convention. Oh, sounds like a real party. <laughs> go on. Just sober, honey. Look, yeah, sober, no, sober we're queens going. to party, honey. Miss me, me and Miss Booby go to Disney and we party clean and sober. I think you would say Booby and I. Booby and I. Yeah. Indeed. Also, I, I dig shirts that have like their one tone, but then the ribbing is a different color. I do. I, I dig that. It's cute. Happy Joyce Free 2020 Florida Roundup. I went to, I guess maybe it was a local, a regional roundup that a friend of ours who does drag was hosting. And I'm not going to get into who it was. Hell at us. And uh, there were like 600 people there, whatever. This is a long time ago. Let me just preface it. And I thought it'd be real cute. I went with her to watch the show. To, I walked to, around to honey, saying to people, yo, where can I get a bump? Can I get a bump? And I thought you it was blow some clouds. I thought it was funny, and I told Hedda, and she was like, "Don't do that, girl." Some of these people are like close to the edge. Don't do that. And I was like, "But I thought it was funny." Don't do that. <laughs> Can I get a Miss Hedda? She's got a <laughs> she's got a stick up her ass. That one. She do, and I'm sure it's green. Now Matinga, it looks like I, you, you know I don't her. like Miss Hedda. Really? Why? For what because... reason? Because she's got to stick up her ass. She's shady. <laughs> she's Girl, nasty. Remember we used to hang out with her and she would bring a notepad and write down everything we said? Yes. We, we, she would crib our jokes. Mm -hmm. And I know for a fact that she cribbed my joke about Aretha Franklin having to be rolled out on a dolly for her last performance. <laughs> she cribbed my fucking joke. Uh-uh. Uh -huh. No, that's, that's, not, that's not class. That, you know what? Fighting for me in here. What? 
Is there enough lighting in here for me? Yes. Yeah. Girl, okay. you're, honey, you're usually green, but you're like a light tan currently. So I think you're good. Yes. yes. You look good, Miss Booby. That's class. That's Matilda, class. Love the shirt. Where'd you get it? I love this Thank shirt. you. Thank you so much. This is some homework merch that you can get at teespring slash homework.com. That right? isn't it, but it doesn't matter because the link will be below. The link will be below. And this is our, you know, this is the current buzzword. That's class. That's class. That's and class. I love my little t-shirt. I think it looks great, actually. Look great? I love it. Yeah. I love it. That looks love really it. great. And that's available on our merch shop. And I've decided we don't need to give the fucking address of the merch shop and the Patreon every week. We'll just say links below. And the below. Links below. And also, there's probably like a little link on screen. Now, I am wearing my aviators and high tops Biden Harris shirt. Work. Ooh, work. So as we record this, it is two weeks before the election. Yeah. Two and a half. Is, two and a half weeks. Two and a half. Yeah, two and a half weeks. So I made is a that donation. official? Yeah, that bitch. Official Biden made phone? my donation to Team Joe or the Joe Biden Victory Fund or whatever the hell it's called, and ordered myself a T-shirt. It's a cute T-shirt. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's important. It's so, it's so important. You got to get out there and work the vote, honey. Yeah, let everybody get out there and vote. You know, whoever you vote for, although I have an idea that if you're watching this show, that it's Biden and Kamala. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, you know, all comers is usually what I say when I walk into the sex club. But uh, it's really important this year that, that everybody vote. Like, if you are, you know, it's, you know what, it's your birthright. If you're a U.S. citizen, get out there and vote this year. It's so important. Unless you're for some odd reason, not voting for Joe Biden, in which case, stay home. There you in go. In which case, fuck you. Yeah, in which exactly. case, fuck you. Just, exactly. Just, just fuck uh -huh. you. And, and honey, that means if you're watching this show and you're, and you're voting for Trump. You got issues. You got issues. Like, what are you? Like, yeah. who are A you? A unicorn? A unicorn? And what is it that you want? Is it another baby? baby? No. <laughs> what is it that you need? Because there's a line in that song, it's like, um, you told me that she turned tricks when you broke up in 96. I was like, that's pretty saucy. Word. You told me that she turned tricks. Who is that, Maya? Maya, honey. You know what? Maya in from the 90s? Miss Maya. Yeah, girl. Don't you sleep. I live for Maya. I just explained, booby. I heard a remix. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. And you know, in 96, I could have, no, it's a little late for me. What, maybe be turning tricks? It may be 86. I could have been turning some tricks, girl. Oh, with that luxurious long hair? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and also, the, uh, the song that I was trying to remember of Maya's the other day that I happen to love so much, it's called Taking Me Over, Taking Me Over. I don't know it. Uh, Maya's album, Fear of Flying, is a fierce, to this day, is a fierce album. And you know, it's Maya, also a fabulous, fabulous dancer and a, a real victim of uh, like the whole you know, uh, music industry Me Too stuff. And like people tamping down her career because she didn't want to play their game. What's so a very interesting Chicago? story. She was in Chicago. You know, she uh, the last major thing she did was Lady Marmalade, but like she, she wasn't gonna be the next big thing. Until Monica came along. Who was gonna be the next big thing until... Right. Randy came along. Until, yes. Until Sha Diamond came along, honey, breaking out what, the gate. What? Uh, what are our feelings on Cardi B WAP? It's wet. I don't really particularly have any feelings on it. I thought it was I had never heard it. it you never right. heard it? Oh, never it's worth it. a... It's worth a listen. Oh, girl. there's the bows in the top? Yes. Yeah, 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 I heard it. Yes, I yes, mean, yes, it's, yes, yes. It's, it's, it's enjoyable. I have really no feelings on her or that song at all. I like Cardi B. I like her. Yeah. I like her. I, I just want to say uh, Best of Me by Maya is also a great tune. I think Cardi B, I think she, I, I heard a little clip where she said, you know, I tried to stretch and do other stuff, but people want me to sing about my pussy. So I'm going to sing about my pussy. Girl, I think we can, we can all relate. And I was like, girl, sing about that hot, that's wet class. pussy. Yeah. That's, that's gash. That's, that's, that's gash. That's, okay, that's gash. Yeah. That's actual gash. Yeah. Oh, Miss Booby, don't be afraid, darling. Uh, girl, girl, I'm out of gash. 
<laughs> and when, the, when the tranny gets to the to the hospital too late oh girl we're out of gas <laughs> you'll have to get back on the bus you're gonna have to come back tomorrow honey you mean transsexual Tra yes uh, no i think you mean transgender Trans yes yes girl we're playing out of gas today <laughs> <laughs> honey we're aghast today okay now today's topic that was i think matinga that was a form of bad etiquette Oh yeah. So for that, sure. It was a beautiful example. Thank you for that segue opportunity. Thank you. Because today we are answering some viewer questions about etiquette, or as I like to pronounce it, etiqua. Etiqua. Yes. We put yes. the call out there and we got some responses on Patreon and YouTube. And I believe Miss Matanga, somebody sent you something on Instagram, maybe? Or a comment on Instagram? Uh, or something? Maybe. I lost but track this weekend. I, it was so crazy. I think I did get something on Instagram, yeah. Okay, why don't we start with the Patreon etiquette question. We have a question from Richard. Controversial question maybe, but how does Matinga ask guys about fisting? You had sent me that question. Yes. And I wish that it was, you know, uh, you know a labyrinthian, you know, interesting, dark answer. But, but it's a labyrinthian, interesting, dark place. Exactly, ex exactly. Mm -hmm. But honestly, you know, when Do they call I, you the maze runner? Huh, honey, and, and then when I'm done with them, honey, it's the goodness of maze. <laughs> oh, I am being so inappropriate today. Please, that's what Not you're here for. Non-PC for Mrs. Tinga, honey. Go for Although it. Although I do love, like, when a girl just rocks two long braids like this. Yeah. And, like, a little headband. Yeah. I'm all about that. Yeah. But uh, honestly, you know, um, I'm meeting people on websites where the the, the the question is moot. And the quality is on everyone. Yeah, if you're on this site, you're into that and other dark things. Or it was at a, a fisting themed sex parties, which I haven't been to a fisting themed sex party in, in about five years, but you know, that's where I, I got all my little buddies and I held on Music to Music by Frankie Knuckles. <laughs> ah. Just, how appropriate. Um, and so, yeah, and so, but if I, but I think if the question is if I met someone like say through a, you know, uh, not through that, like I met somebody at a club or a bar and we had went on a date and whatever, la la la, which was very rare for me. But if I did, um, you know, we'd have sex and you'd figure it out. You know, you don't, somebody who's really vanilla, you know, on the first date, you don't say, listen, let me, let me stick four fingers in and see, you know, see where that takes you. Unless you're Mike Diamond all coked up with two porno stars. It's not what happened. And, uh, uh, but you know, but you know, you have a conversation <laughs> and a lot of people, and Booby, you had one of those guys too. A lot of people aren't into fisting. He had a Dalmatian. Remember him? Oh, he was beautiful. 101 Dalmatians had to fuck them all first. I had to play my Cruella DeVille card. <laughs> my, your Cruella Dupree of the house Hello. of Dupree. So yeah, and so like if I, if I was with somebody vanilla, we could just have vanilla sex and have fun and I would try and have an open dialogue about sex and open. expand the the, mm. the you know, the palette. But you know, you uh, no is no and you can only take certain people to certain places. It's like that song from the big comfy couch, no means no. No means no. No means no means no means no. On the big Comfy couch. couch. I ah. just want to say that, um, not to cut you off, Matanga, and I want to circle back, a phrase I've come to hate. When I was doing the drags, and I, I went to uh, do a show at The Web, the Asian club, The Web, and I yes. thought it'd be so hot to do a number from Big Comfy Couch, and I did that song about her belly button. It's my belly button. My belly button. And... <laughs> Did nobody see it? <laughs> Did nobody see that number? Why? Because they ain't got belly button? Well, I don't think it translated into Japanese. Oh. Well, you know Asian queens don't got belly buttons. <laughs> <laughs> well, then maybe they need room? to go to that, that gashless tranny hospital. I have got a picture of me and Michael at the And you're never going to show it because it's That busted. she will never allow me to show where we are both up in gala. I and wouldn't I mind actually, that, except that I look horrific in that and, photo. And then that night, I actually happened to have won the uh, uh, talent show at uh, the web because uh, I turned it out doing my performance of Meeting in the Ladies' Room by Climax. 
Uh, but he won't let me show that picture. And I that also remember- It's horrible. Also, oh, your mother so performed cute. there. Remember, oh. your mother came down and did a number or two. And, and she, slayed. She, she, my mother slayed it. She sl oh, God it was legendary, her. but my mom's legendary, uh, you know, as it is. But uh, 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 also, wasn't it T-Pro that was the DJ? Was it T-Pro? I, I it was. You know what? I don't exactly remember. It was a while ago, so I don't exactly remember. I also do want to say it was Miss Mizell who came in that evening, and she was there before the show, and I was all done up and everything. And she like, and I was walking out of the dressing room, and she was like, no, no, I don't <laughs> like your lips. And she took my hand and took me back in and redid my lipstick. Good for her. God bless. Yeah. I'm saying, and she actually gave me a little lip liner, and I look quite lovely. Oh, thank God somebody saved you that night. So what you're saying is that you would you would approach it delicately, the, the topic of F-I-S-T-I-N-G. Yeah, but but you know what? Ooh, a Sayin like, Garrett song. F-I-S-T-I-N-G. Oh. Yeah. Yes, me and Saeed are friends on Instagram. I was going to say, that's um, weird. isn't she like following all of us on Twitter? She is, yeah. So on, she's following me on Instagram. But um, what I do want to say, though, is this one thing is like, don't be afraid to talk about sex with your partner and ask for what you want and have a conversation. I like disagree this. completely. You should yeah. never discuss it. You should just do it. And if it doesn't feel like it's working, just leave. Miss Boo, when you asked Bob to fist him that time, mm -hmm. how did you broach it? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> He was like, hey, baby, how about a roundup? Hey. <laughs> Honey, talk about ground up. You were like, Bobby, Bobby, baby, this wig, it feels like I'm wearing a wool hat. <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> okay. Have we that answered, is so real. That we is real. That question? Yes. Okay. Let's move on to the next Patreon question, which uh, the, the ones we got on Patreon were a little on the sexual side. Okay, so Joseph asks, how do you politely and delicately tell someone that they are terrible at giving head or more specifically that their teeth carving thin slices off the head of your cock is not appreciated nor desirable? I always yeah. just say, pull over, let me out. Booby? I say, ow, ow. <laughs> ow. <laughs> ow. <laughs> oh. Ow. Oh, <laughs> oh, or you just give it like from the crown. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Eow. Missing, didn't we have a character named Eow? We did. He was born doing the butt. He was born on the dance floor at the dis at the Crisco Disco. Right. Uh, he, was he the child of Shelley Sheldon? I think he was. You know, like white, he was. white castles and all kinds of water sports. Yes. 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 Um, From so, what I gather, Shelly also gave terrible head. Yes. So how do you never, I think Booby kind of just nailed it. You just kind of go, ow. You know, but you know. Be huh? careful. Ow. Right. You watch know. it. Baby, watch the teeth now. Yeah, that's, that's all you got to do. Take your dentures out, baby. I heard. Yeah. I've found that if you just take and slap them quick on the forehead, <laughs> Donkey punch. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Stop that. Remember um, mushroom stamping? <laughs> Do you know what mushroom that? stamping? It's when you fuck someone and then you pull out and hit them on their forehead with your dick. <laughs> but but it leaves the mushroom stank because <laughs> the, your dick is covered in shit. Okay. Right? That's, yeah. gross. <laughs> that's the mushroom gross. stamp. <laughs> disgusting. Okay. Um, so how do you navigate that issue? Well, I would just say, um, back it up, T-Rex, because that hurts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, too much teeth, less teeth, less right. teeth. And then if, if their technique is so bad that you say that, less teeth, less teeth, and they're still going at it, you know, you pull yeah. out, you pull out and say, you know what? Uh, it, you know, it's, it's not working. I no. just leave that day. bathroom stall and find another glory yeah. hole. Yeah, why don't you eat my ass for a second? Let's see how that eat? goes. That's ass. Right, right. But there's nothing worse than bad head because- But, but Miss Thing, if they're grinding up on you when they're blowing you and then you like eat my ass instead, bitch, they're gonna chew your hole off. <laughs> but the hole is a little bit more resilient and also- Because all your nerve endings are dead down there, darling. But we're talking about regular people. And also like, it's harder to get the hole into your mouth. Unless it's no, falling it's out like yours. I God, I mean, movie, no, no. I also, listen, I've had somebody's lower intestine in my mouth, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh. I, 
But like, no, for real. Honey, I have I have walked into a room and internal organs have just been lying there on the bed. (laughs) Oh, red and shiny. Girl, your sex life is an episode of Call the Midwife and I'm not here for it, honey. (laughs) So like, you know, but it's hard, but like, but with with like a normal human being, it's actually harder to actually get the hole into your mouth. So they're probably going to do less damage down there. So, are, are, so Matinga, is your uh, booby? Your official answer is just say "ow," and Matinga, your official answer is have them eat your ass instead. Have me eat your ass. Okay. Look, look, right. look. Let's, let's try something else. Right. Let's try right. something else. Okay, great. Or you could just like file their teeth down. Or blow my finger. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. What you don't want to, what you don't want to do is say you give terrible head in the middle of the sex. I think right. you do. You like you want no, to like you, you want to turn to me so afterward. You're you're kind of like baby like you know I'm gonna get um uh, this nine inch plantain and I'm going to show you what you were doing wrong and how to do it right and then I'm gonna fry up these plantains and make us some milk because you're all cute and stuff. <laughs> That's how you do it. That's a beautiful Please, answer. Right. Okay, we'll go with that. Asked and answered. Now. Moving on to YouTube etiquette questions, and these aren't in any particular order because I'm not that organized today. Question from Gregory. Sleeping with coworkers, how many is too many? One. I'm gonna say till you get caught. Sleeping with coworkers? Yeah. Is that what you said? Mm Mm-hmm. How many is too many? I don't know, I mean. If you're a porn star, I guess that's normal. All of them. How big is the desk? I mean, like you I, don't want to be the 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 office the, whore, the office pump. Yeah, the office pump. Yeah, sure you do. Um, depending I, on the office. Boo, do you have strong feelings about this? Yes. Don't shit where you eat. That's such. That's so good. That's that's that is so true. Don't shit where you eat. But I do have to say, like, in the world that we live in now, right? Like. Clubs aren't really the, the tea anymore. That sort of is ended because of apps and stuff like that. And so people, you know, meet on dating sites and at work. Like we've all met people at work, haven't we? No. We all have. Now, is it I a good idea? I don't think I have ever. You don't think you have? Ever, 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 ever. I don't think, not to my. Not memory. even when you worked at that sex store? God, especially no, no. Um, and I've worked at a few of them. So I feel like, you know, a, a lot of people, they meet their husband, their wife at work. Is it a good move? No. I think there are certain rules that you should follow. Don't sleep with the boss. Don't sleep with an underling. If you're going to sleep with a coworker, sleep with like, it's a lateral move. And remember that if it goes south, you're going to have to see that person every day. Every day. You have to see that person every day. And don't think that you're both going to be grownups about it, you know? So you have to keep that in mind. It's a, it's a risk. It is a real risk, but people do take that risk, you know? I say but, sleep and also, with your don't boss sleep with everybody. It, well, sleep with your boss if it's going to get you ahead, for sure. Do it. Ah. No, really, do it. Oh, ahead. Uh, I, like, if it's going to get you a promotion or a corner office or whatever it is that you're seeking, certainly do it. Um, make sure you record that shit in case make it goes break. sideways on you. But then, but, like, but then, like, you're like the boss's like little private suck boy. Well, Did that sound really personal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, ho- wait a minute, girl. Did something and, happen? What and happened it could to go. You? It could go. It could. It could get boring and tired quick. Like if you're involved, especially like if you like sucked it on a lark, like, like you were like, you're like, oh, I don't suck this dick, and then like, suddenly like they think that it's your job to suck their dick. Oh, please. Like, now you're in the realm please. of fantasy, darling. Um, honey, ma- 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 honey, there's fantasy and then there's reality. So what happened to you, girl? What kind of environment was it? No, I'm not going to share that. Mama, but it's, but it wasn't want your opinion. But it wasn't, it wasn't the brightest decision on my part. Was right. it when you worked at Tower Records? No, my, my, my manager was straight and he was this hunky little Italian guy and I would have sucked it like, sucked. all he would have do would have, like look in my direction, I would have blown it. I ran the switchboard at Tower Records on West Forster, which is an enormous, gigantic store that's been gone for many years. It was a 200 line switchboard and it was one of the most fun gigs I ever had. Hello. Any I loved job, it. 
I got something in my eye. Hold up. Talk, talk amongst yourselves for a second. Yes. Honey, I'm coming from, from this morning. Eye. She'll be blowing right. the cat. It's my belly button, yeah. Mm. It's gross. <laughs> I probably she might. look good and feet. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to be a one-eyed bitch now. Mm, Popeye. Do you wow. want to stop for a second? No, we could, but we like, could it's pause. Fierce. No, it's fierce, though. The kids will just have to accept that these things happen. Okay. So I'm going to give you pirate realness for a minute. All right. <laughs> Arr. Let's move on to the next question. Uh, so sleeping with coworkers, everyone agrees it's not a good idea. Not a good I idea. say do it if they're really hot or if you can get a promotion. Okay. Someone named Here I Stand says, when dining out with friends and acquaintances from a scale of one to 10, how rude is it to chew with an open mouth? There's a, there's a bunch of questions, so we'll just give like brief answers. Chew with okay. an open mouth. I say that, that's pretty bad. Bad. Yeah. Interrupt when someone's speaking or cut the flow of a conversation. I say that is a 10. Don't do Rude. that. Rude. Rude. Yeah. Gossip about people not present. Honey, that's the whole point of getting together. That's the point of a dinner out. Yeah. Boo. Please, how many times have I called you just to dish on this one? Mm -hmm. uh, psh, bitch. Uh, be speaking loudly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a loud talker and I come from a loud family. Not in Disney. Not at Disney, Talk, <laughs> talking about fisting on, on Splash Mountain and getting I, reprimanded by Steven Revlon. Guys, we're at Disney. On Gash Mountain. <laughs> on Gash Mountain. Also, didn't I put a moratorium on Disney conversations? This is not a Disney show. Oh. Didn't I lay down the law? Wow. Excuse me, ladies. All right. <laughs> Okay, um, and the last question on this rudeness scale. Passionately argue about whose eyebrows are better, Madonna, oh, Gaga, Lord. Britney, Beyonce. That's never come up for me, so I don't know. But I'd be fine with it. Also, and this is going to maybe controversial, <clears throat> but uh, phones off the table and do not answer a call unless you stand up and you walk away. Right. Matenga, you are so full of shit because we have been recording this very program and you have answered your phone. Okay. Yeah, because, because my mother's 77. Oh, please. And I'm, a, and her, and I'm her caretaker and I have a, like, oh. I, can, I never turn off my phone. Never, oh. never, never. I'm so, not allowed, I can't. So would you say so, in that instance, if you're at dinner with your friends, would you I'd turn get your up phone and walk, I'd get up and walk away. And my phone would not be on the table. Right. And I'm certainly think... not sitting there like checking my email or anything like that. Let's talk to each other. Talk yes. to each other. Yes. Like the other night. So viewers, I, I did a very, very quick jaunt into New York City the other day. Yeah. And I had the pleasure of seeing Miss Matinga in person. Oh, it was so fun. I hadn't realized, you know, in a, a moment of, of realness here, I just I hadn't realized how much I just missed you. Oh, girl, I miss you so much. And yeah. seeing you in reality was like such a trip. Yeah, to you it's been standing right so there. Long. And then having you and having missed you so much and having you right there. But can't touch you, can't right. kiss you, right. can't hug you. Well, I've always been a walking petri dish, darling. You just it's, it's true. But it was been... fun, and we had fun. We hung out on Misunderstood's roof, and we had pizza. And Mizell showed up, and Emma's Mills. Brian, it was fun. It was a hoot and a half. It was really the only person missing was you, Miss Booby. Yeah, Miss Booby. Yeah, girl. Why do you live down there in Gulfport or wherever you are, if... Booby? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, to try to get away from us. So the weather is quite lovely. Someone that said someone called August's one, who was the person with misophonia, which is the, the eating. Oh, thing. let me go get some food. Uh, oh, hello. really? Really? Uh, now they're asking about sex etiquette tips, and I feel like we've covered that in the past a few times. Did you just take a swig of something? Uh, no, it's actually it's still sealed. It's an uh, energy drink. Oh, okay. I was gonna say that's aggressive. It's aggro. Um, we've done sex etiquette uh, yes. probably a few times. I can't yeah. off the top of my head think of what episodes, but search through our playlists and find them. Do some work, God yeah. damn it. It's not we've like anyone's busy. We, honey, we've done safe sex tips. We've done sex tips. We've done, uh, you know, uh, it's, it, we, we've covered it, you know. But what, I, but what I will say again is what I said before. Don't be embarrassed to ask for what you want, even if it's in the moment and respect people's limits. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I want to kill the baby in the backyard. <laughs> so Damien asks, 
how do you manage crushing on multiple people online and still be a good boyfriend to your partner? You don't wait, 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 wait. repeat that question one more time. I'm sorry. How do you manage crushing on multiple people online and still be a good boyfriend to your partner? <clears throat> First, I thought oh. he meant crushing little animals. You know how people like to crush little animals yeah, yeah. during mm -mm. sex? I was like, oh, honey, uh -uh. honey, no. Crushing on people, meaning, meaning- Maybe he's like flirting with- Flirting with other people. Well, but wait, is it is it crushing and just like looking at people that you think are cute? But I think flirting goes past Takes crushing. It past just crushing. Yeah, because now you're actually in contact with those people. Because like I crush on certain people like Henry Cavill, I don't know him. I love Henry Cavill. I love him. Oh I can't God. take it how hot he is. Oh, but I, but, and I crush on him, but like, you know, if I had a boyfriend, I don't think my boyfriend should be, you know, worried about me crushing on Henry Cavill. What about Arnie Hammer? Love him. Love Isn't him. Did, did, did you see uh, uh, Call Me By Your Name? Oh, yes. Oh, girl. Drove me nuts. Girl, the tears. The tears for weeks. I was a hot mess. Mess, mess. But it did you see so... Call Me Taylor Dane? Oh, Call honey. Me Taylor Dane. The tears, girl. Honey, then, the, uh, honey, my autobiography is gonna be Call Me by home. Call Me by Miss Tinga. Yes. Um, um. So I think if you're crushing on multiple people online, maybe you're not me. satisfied with what you have at home, and you need to break up. Exactly. <laughs> this is the thing. It's like, listen. Monogamy is a choice and mm. it's not easy. It's also but an it's, illusion. But you can make it happen. And if you truly love somebody, if that's the parameters of your relationship, you might actually have a, a different kind of relationship, like an open relationship or whatever. But, uh, but like it, but monogamy is a choice and like, but also we're human beings. So I know <laughs> that you're looking, that you may find other people attractive. But of like course, when you're with normal. Yeah. But when you're with me, like I've been on dates where the person I was with was my, was like, Yo, look, that guy's sweet ass. Da 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 da. da. Oh, oh, this. Oh, yeah, that's fuck like fuck that dude. And I'd be like, dude, like, like I hate that. Me. Like, I'm, I'm. What about that's me? That's rude. Like, now I don't. Uh, me, you might look at somebody else and think they're cute, but I don't want you with me constantly looking. But like when you're like, I, you, you know what? You're gonna but jerk that's off to porn. But that's in person, which is a. That's, that's in person, right? That's that's so disrespectful. But when I'm not around, like watch porn, like look up Henry Cavill, you know, shirtless pics, like. Mm -mm. You know, whatever. Like no. it's we're human beings. No, bitch. I feel like this. If you're my partner, you don't see other people. You don't acknowledge other men. Okay. You don't say in front of me this one's cute or that one's cute or whatever. And I mean ever. And if so you, you do, motherfucker, you're getting a vasectomy you weren't planning on. Okay. So you just get this dried piece of herring right here, <laughs> <laughs> and that is it. Forever. Honey, you want to live your haggis fantasy? <laughs> Girl, honey. No. I like, you want to have bagels and lox for the rest of your life? For the rest of your life, darling. By the way, we just had the, the, the high holidays for all our Jewish friends. It was the gay Jewish holiday, Shooketh. Shooketh. Okay. Um, yes. I feel like this. If you're crushing on people online, multiple people. Well, Analyze first of all, why. Uh, right. Like, you're is, your, is your boyfriend a brick? Right. Right. Okay. So, something's not being satisfied. Right. In your relationship. And still be a good yeah. boyfriend to your partner. You but, it, but, but, you, but you're allowed to not have sex. Yeah. Listen, eventually the spark is going to die. I mean, any relationship that goes past, oh, I don't know, three months, the spark is dead. Your sex life is over. I mean, that's just going to happen. So if you can like negotiate a way that this can work for both of you, that's great. They actually say that after seven years, the, the sexual uh, spark really diminishes in any relationship. But if there's real communication and real connection, what's left is a deeper place. Oh, how boring. I mean, no, that's fantastic. And that, um, Booby, what's the matter? But Booby's um, about 10 years into a relationship. No, it's six years. About six years. Ooh, next year's gonna be rough. You got another year to go, girl. <laughs> Uh, no, but Booby's relationship is based on 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 more than just physical attraction. Disney. They really have something real, you know, something it's something like you Disney. and I have never been able to figure out. No, I figured it out. I just don't want it. Okay. First of all, look, 
it takes a lot of effort to be pleasant to someone. And if you're uh, with someone, trust. yeah, like if you're with someone like all the fucking time and you have to respect their feelings and take their opinions into account, I don't have that kind of energy, sweetheart. I am 40, okay? Honey, imagine the last <laughs> seven months. <laughs> what about it? Uh -huh. The last seven months, right. Do you know how many couples have broken up because of lockdown? But you know how many couples have grown closer as well? But they're Just sick. Because because we're jaded and miserable. I'm not miserable. Not booby, but you and I. Doesn't mean miserable. that like, honey, e listen, even Cutie texted me the other day. She was like, help me. You leave me <laughs> out of this. To get me out of here. This crazy Jew is driving me crazy. <laughs> A little bit. I think I'm like overfeeding her. Cause I figured oh. out that like, like I'll feed her. And then after about 10 minutes, if she hasn't finished it and the food starts to look dry, I throw it out and open another can. Cause I think she just wants it like fresh and moist. Like everyone in my orbit, they like it fresh and moist. Uh -huh. Wow. Wow. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, Jap. Jew ass Wet pussy. ass pussy food. Jew <laughs> ass pussy. I got that Jew ass pussy. Oh, we're going to have to do the remix, girl. Shalom, honey. It won't be kosher and it won't taste like pork. Okay. Is, Is your boyfriend, boyfriend a brick? brick? Now, we've got a question from Milo. Friends, ex-partners. Is it okay to date them? How? How do you tell your friend? Hmm. Uh, I'm going to say no. Partner. I'm confused. What does he mean? So like if, let's say, let's say if Matinga had ever had a relationship, right? And then they broke up. And that person, <laughs> as pathetic as they must be, hit on you, Miss Booby. Would you go out with them if you were no. like, into okay, right. That's my answer too. Just don't do it. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably not a good idea. Although, uh, Miss Michael put me in bed with her ex, -boy like literally put me in bed yes, I with did. her ex. <laughs> Uh, yep. And because uh, uh, I thought you guys would her. connect, yeah, and tried to hook us up. Also, I wanted him thought, off my back. Yeah, and so there is a little tiny bit of wiggle there, but not much. But that's different because not only was that with my knowledge, that was my idea. Yeah. Didn't you guys go to a Rick Astley concert? We did. It was Rick Astley and Martika and Kids Incorporated. What the oh fuck is God. What is and it was Incorporated? A fierce, fierce. Incorporated. Yeah. And it was like fierce, fierce concert. TV show. But it was you, at Radio I, City Music Hall. And you guys kind of hooked up? No, we, we did sleep together in the same bed, but we did not hook up. Was I still living with him? You were in the next room. Oh, it's all such a blur. Anyway, so is it okay to date for, well, in that kind of instance, the answer is yes, because clearly I didn't care. Date my ex, go for it. Um, don't do it on the sly when I'm in California for six months and then I find out later. Yes, I munched his tray gag. And you only, I don't even know how you found out, but somehow you did. Because I was at your apartment and the phone rang and I picked it up and it was my ex-boyfriend. How odd. Your luscious six foot two gorgeous. Luscious. Wannabe cop. That we had to call him Robocop. Yes. Please. With that chunk. It was a chunk. Uh, it was a chunk. Remember when he handcuffed me to the shower curtain? Yeah, he ha also handcuffed me to the bed. Ugh, that one. How did he ever get that. handcuffs? Anyway, so is it okay? Um, I would say it's probably not a good idea because probably not. tricks yeah. are easy yeah, to come by. Friends are much harder to cultivate than a piece oh of my ass. God. Where the hell is that dude? But we're still here together. Right. Yeah. The tricks and pieces fall away. Sisters are forever. It just took me a second, but I do remember his full name. I could look him up if I really wanted to. Do you know he was friends with that one of our little uh, gay youth lesbian girls? With Orly. Miss Orly, yes. With Miss Orly, who's had two, two different color eyes, I remember. What they call it? Very Heter pretty. Do they call it heterochromatic? Is that what that is? Is that what that's Monochromatic? Uh, um, uh, uh, Bowie also had two right. different color eyes. Everything froze for a second. I think Miss Honey froze or she's playing. Me? Us. Her. Okay. Yeah. Everybody now, you froze. No, and you, now your, froze? Your, your audio is delayed a second. Me or everybody? No, you. Just Me? you, but the now rocks. You're fine. Now you're fine. Now I'm fine. Oh, that hurt my neck. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's see. Oh, you know what's so weird? I think that was the last question. Because the other one is just a comment. Que bonitas las princesas. Because no, I do have a couple questions oh, on my okay. page. Oh, okay. Bring it. 
So, uh, tell us where these came from. Uh, so Matthew Robert um, sent a question, Matthew Robert on Instagram. How do you deal with a guy that has a smelly man box? <laughs> It mean? happens. It happens. A smelly, a that? smelly culo, a, smel a smelly booty hole. You gotta wash it. You gotta wash it. You gotta wash, I'm not but washing you, it. You but, wash. the, but no, you know what? I I might be talked into washing it for you in a sensual way. That it's question possible. is so base. It's it's well, we've been singing Ace of Base all morning. Um, but it's true. And occasionally, because you know what? You never went home with a guy after the club. You've been dancing for eight hours. You start hitting it right away. You get down to business on no. the booty hole and you suddenly realize, oh, it's, you gotta it's, take a shower. it's Amazonian forest down here. I haven't been here. to a club in 27 years. And the, the man box needs some tending to. And what I've always said was, I, you know, I take the guy and I'm like, baby, you know what would be really super sexy right now? A shower and a salt scrub. <laughs> no, can, I'll say this. Anyone who's not hygienically ready for you in any capacity, they're not going to be a good lay because they're not taking your needs and your experience into account, okay? They're only thinking about themselves. I believe that they are sensual narcissists, and I'm opposed to it. I do want to point out that just recently, my dear daughter, Robert, who has never Had a gotten, smelly man box? Who has never gotten anywhere near my smelly man box? Um, found this product and she bought me the product because she was like, "This is this product is a is miracle." This sponsored content? It is not, but like, get into this. You, you if you don't want to mention it, it, it is a deodorant. It's called, and it is, and it says it's for for the private areas and the underarms and. They mean private areas. So I went on a date just recently that we will not go into. Oh, I but think I we did must. go on a but we went on I went oh, on a date, really. date. Yeah. And I um uh but it was a socially distant state as well. He got nowhere near my smelly bam my man box. But just in case <laughs> bamboo. but just in case I was gonna take that risk, I used this product that my daughter gave me. <laughs> and um it's a, a deodorant and you just take like a like a trace, like a trace little amount, you put it and you put it up your crack, right? And so no one got anywhere near my man box, but I'm telling you, my man box was so fresh. Boys, it was fresh for like two days. Like I kept on like, like actually checking, be like, it was like, there was no smell. It was completely <laughs> neutral. No, I'm serious, bro. I took a shower the next day, but I did not wash the man box because I wanted to see how long it would last. For two days, my man box was lovely. Lovely. Fitting. Yeah, it was, honey, anyone would want to get in that man box. So wait, is it like the equivalent of a leave-in conditioner? It is a leave-in conditioner anti Perspirant deodorant. Why not just like, you know, soap and water? No, you use the soap and water, but then like, if you happen to be hooking up, you go out and leave the house, it's eight hours later, you know, it, you're still perfectly, perfectly fresh. What is the it's active really, ingredient? Is it like kryptonite or something? I don't know, girl, but I was so impressed. Like, was it like was mad like, minty fresh? It was, yo, it was mad minty fresh. Okay. And then I'm using my Manscaped products. Uh, so I had deodorized the bush. So girl, my, my, my bush was smelling like the morning dew and my ass was ready to munch. It was ready. It was ready, girl. It was lovely. <laughs> that made Booby leave the room. I well, you know what? Because I think he just realized that his man box is like not as fresh oh, as no, he that's hopes. Not it. I wanted to show you this stuff. Oh, Dr. Oh, Bronner's? Oh, that stuff is awesome. I Pure live. Castile soap. That stuff is awesome. It's fabulous. I've gargled with that. Like, you know, you have like a really nasty hookup and the only thing in their shower is that. Ew. You're just like washing with it, gargling with it, fucking snorting it, inhaling it. That that stuff and also lava soap. Have you ever had that lava soap? Is so good. Yeah. For like, especially like if you've gotten like down dirty. in the depths and dirty and yeah. greasy, like that stuff is fabulous. Because you know what? Sex is messy. 
darling, your sex life is like storming the beaches at Normandy, but not all of us are that intense. But point taken. Some of us are storming the beaches. What do you mean? My, what makes you think that my sex life would be in text just because I have a 40 ounce bottle of lube? Oh, God. In lockdown, no less. In lockdown, girl. And it's the second one I've used in lockdown. Oh, God. Okay, so I think Honey, the... I have sat on everything in this apartment. Doorknobs, right. kitchen and table legs. And you left everything mad minty fresh. Everything was mad minty fresh afterwards. <laughs> okay, well, we'll, ha we'll have to explore that. Okay, well, that was a horrifying question, but thank you for submitting it. Whoever, Matthew, was it? Yeah, uh, it was Matthew Robert. Matthew Robert. Oh, her. Yes. Is Matthew, she the bitch always Matthew. be calling us Beyonce, Kelly, and Michelle? Yes, Be Beyonce, Kelly, and Michelle. For a long time, and I just want to say, I'm clearly Beyonce, but which one of you is Kelly? Which one is Michelle? Well, I think I'm Beyonce. What is it that she Miss Booby is Kelly. What is it that she needs? And you're Michelle. Yeah. Which is the one that when they popped up at the Super Bowl performance landed kind of funny? Michelle. Michelle. So I'm Michelle? Yeah. yeah. Next question, please. <laughs> What do you got? Is that it? I think that was the only one that I actually got on, on yeah. Miss Booby, you've been a little quiet this episode. Any thoughts on etiquette in general? Not really. Okay, so. <laughs> Miss Booby, Booby storms in like, like a stormtrooper. He's like, etiquette, you better open that right. raunchy hole. Right. Oh. Like now. And I'm talking, that's how he speaks to Bob. Like, but you know, but when we put the call out, it was for you know if you have questions about work, personal life. But, but they there were all these filthy questions. Because honey, our audience knows, knows us, us, and we know our audience. We do know our audience, and we love our audience, and we expect every yes. one of you to get out there and vote on election day. Yes. Unless you're voting for he who shall not be named. Um, and also, we would like you to check out our merch shop, link below, and check out our Patreon and Venmo, link below. I just yes, have to get that out there. Just take care of that housekeeping business. And also, you know, hit that like button up there. Uh, also, hit that bell icon, because when you hit the bell icon, you will be informed each and every time we put out a new piece of material. And please, if you happen to have been a loyal subscriber, check to make sure that you are still subscribed, as many of our subscribers are being unsubscribed by YouTube. Because she told me that you turn tricks when you're fucked up in 96. It's another baby. And, and another, another baby. <laughs> Miss Booby, you seem very chipper. And Matinga, I got to be honest, I was a little worried about you because so many states are banning plastic bags. What is it that she wants? Oh. What is it that she needs? Oh, <laughs> thank goodness they're not, they're, they're not getting, they're not banning old bags. Uh, honey, the, Honey, Honey, I'm one of those Stasi, reusable bags. The Stasi bitch. would come and get you. I'm in vogue now, bitch. I'm one of them reusable bags, honey. You can you bag use over. Bag. I'm a fag bag, Trust, bitch. honey. Yes, yes. Honey, well, you, you heard of a Merce? Meet Mersa. Hello. You have been watching Homework. This is Mike Diamond. This is Miss Matinga. And this is Booby. You've been learned. Oh.